Today I want to share with you quite a remarkable story. We're going to look at just a humble boy from Weatherby who would go on to become one of the highest scoring aces of the RAF during the Second World War and the second highest scoring Allied airmen who fought during the Battle of Britain. Now considering that there were 3,000 airmen in the battle to come second is pretty impressive. So let's look at this part of Yorkshire's hidden history. James Harry Ginger Lacey was born in Weatherby on the 1st of February 1917. After attending the King James Grammar School in Knaresborough, he attended the Old Leeds Technical College, spending four years as an apprentice pharmacist. In 1937, he joined the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve as a trainee pilot in Perth, Scotland, and by 1938 had become a flying instructor at the Yorkshire Flying School, racking up over a thousand hours of flying time. When war broke out, he joined the number 501 squadron, who were based in Bristol and part of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force. They would become one of the most heavily engaged fighter units of the war, racking up a total of seven battle honours. In May 1940, the squadron moved to northeast France, where he experienced his first combat. Flying over the Ardennes, he destroyed a Heinkel bomber and a Messerschmitt Bf 109 escort, followed by a Messerschmitt Bf 110 the same afternoon. Just a few weeks later, he shut down two more Heinkels on the same day. In June, his plane was damaged and he crash-landed in a swamp and almost drowned. Before the squadron was ordered to return to England, it had claimed 60 victories and he had been awarded the French Croix de Guerre, a medal awarded to individuals who had distinguished themselves before the enemy. During the Battle of Britain, the squadron was stationed in Gravesend and Croydon. He continued to shoot down numerous enemy aircraft throughout July and August, and on the 23rd of August was awarded the Distinguished Flying Medal after shooting down six enemy aircraft in the same day. Throughout the Battle of Britain, he had been shot down and bailed out or forced to land no less than nine times. After the Battle of Britain, he became a flying instructor before being posted to India in 1943. His last victory was when he shot down a Japanese Nakajima Ki-43 in 1945, thus becoming one of the few RAF pilots to serve from the beginning to the end of the war. His final tally was 28 confirmed enemy aircraft destroyed, 4 probables and 9 damaged, a total of 41 enemy casualties. After the war he went to Japan, later becoming the first Spitfire pilot to fly over Japan in 1946. Returning to the UK the same year, he retired from the RAF in 1947 and later ran an air freight business in Bridlington and was a key advisor on the film The Battle of Britain. He died in May 1989 at the age of 73, but there are plenty of memorials to him. A plaque is at Bridlington Priory, as well as at the location of the house in Weatherby where he grew up. 